and welcome along for another Birmingham Futsal Club game in the FA Futsal Super League today. Birmingham take on Newcastle. As the two captains make their way to the centre circle, Dean Withers with the captain's armband for Birmingham today. Two team squads then. Birmingham have Dylan Malpass and Ezekiel Moron as goalkeepers. Mikey Angel, Rhys Horton, Ivan Albayol, Dan Guy, Lewis Scott, Dean Withers, Juanito, Darnell Hughes, Ahmed Jafar and Kevin Kuya. Newcastle get us underway then. Gun. Back to the captain, Protoski. Running a starting five made up of Albayol, Mickey, Angel. Team with us, Reese Horton and the keeper, Malpass. Now Horton again to Angel and comes the ball for Angel and there's an early chance here and he's bundled in. And Newcastle take the lead. Was punked home, appeals for handball, ignored by the officials. Angel who was dispossessed and the visitors took full advantage. In Birmingham here, it's Newcastle who lead by one goal to nil. Malpass drops it short to Withers. Now Scott to Horton. Birmingham really do need to up it and soon. Withers, what a finish! Dean Withers with a goal. Brilliant goal from the English International. Found the top corner. And Withers has drawn Birmingham level. Brilliant goal. It's one apiece. Horton. Gone off Withers and in. And Flemingham lead by two goals to one. It's off Withers and into the back of the net. The shot was flying in. It took a touch off Withers. And it's Dean with the second goal of the game. Flemingham have turned it around. With five minutes played, it's Birmingham who lead by two goals. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Malpass makes the save. Birmingham looking to counter now with, with Reese Horton. Horton through the legs of Rhodes. Rhodes will be disappointed with that, but Reese Horton won't care. And Birmingham lead 3 1. Reese Horton with the long range strike. Came through a crowd of players, went straight through Andre Rhodes. It's found his way into the back of the net. Newcastle 3 1 down. Birmingham in control. Scott. Birmingham looking for more, and there's another. And it's for the debutant with his first touch. Kevin Kuya only announced the signs yesterday, and Kuya on the score sheet. Four goals for Birmingham. Kevin Kuya again beating Rhodes. This time at Rhodes is near post. Kuya who'd only just come on. And it's Birmingham four, Newcastle one. Kuya and Albiol. It's 5-1 now to Birmingham. Absolute flurry of goals. This time slammed home by Ivan Albiol. Three goals in quick succession, really. 5-1 as the timeout called. Birmingham on top and in control. This time, the talisman. Albayal with the goal. Jassy. Kratowski. Kratowski again. Kratowski forward straight to Angel and Angel fired it home. Rhodes got a touch too but couldn't do it off. Angel into the roof of the net. Birmingham are loving this. 6-1 7.28 left on the clock 
Birmingham lead by six goals to one. The Falcon just two against Newcastle, but they've got an opportunity here of the visitors, and they've got to go back. Chipped over Malpass and into the back of the net. Scott Gunn, the goal scorer. Birmingham will be disappointed to concede there. It's there, kick in. Mess it up in all essence. 6.50 left on the clock. Here's Malpass. Four seconds to distribute. Guard. Albayol. Forward to Withers. Guy in the centre across to Guy. Guy rounds the keeper and scores. Dan Guy on the score sheet. Bergen with their seventh. Lovely link up play between Withers and then Guy with the finish. Interestingly enough there as well, Newcastle making the change whilst on the back foot defensively. Scott Gunn onto the court. What was slightly, slightly strange timing. Juanito. Newcastle coming forward and they'll score. Santiago with the finish. 7-3. 35 seconds to go. Birmingham will be disappointed. Nice play by Newcastle, but sloppy by the hosts. Santiago couldn't really miss. 7-3. Albayol to Horton. Time, then Birmingham in control of the game. Half time score. Birmingham lead by seven goals to three. Withers with two, and then one each for Horton, Kuya, Alvayol, Angel, and Van Gaal. Welcome back then for the second half. Will be Birmingham to get us restarted. Kevin Kuya gets us back underway. Across to Kuya straight away. And well, that would have been some quick goal. Juanito has come and taken up position right over on this near side. Malpaz though, opts to go short to Alouel. Here is Juanito now. Scott, Birmingham do well to beat the first line of press. And Scott across to Kuya. Kuya looking back for Scott and across to Juanito off the line with a handball. Looked like handball to me. Birmingham certainly asking for it as well. Newcastle on the front foot and they've scored. They've got one back. Maybe now they start to believe. James Gunn, the goal scorer, has towed it into the bottom corner. Just three goals in it now, 7 4. Aso didn't get to it. Scott did. Scott's in. Denied by Rhodes. Aso Santiago forward to Aso Aso really should have scored there Birmingham with the warning signs Scott denied by Rhodes at the one end Newcastle straight down the other should be 7-5 with us this is Angel Corners you like, chips the keeper, and that's the goal that Birmingham were looking for. Mickey Angel, composed finish over the top of Rhodes, who sold himself early. You did it again in the pivot, in the pivot position there, should I say. Back he goes, and he's turned in. Josh Clark with the finish. Again, Birmingham just seemed to allow Newcastle to play through. 
Clark got the final touch on it. In a timeout here called by Newcastle. With five minutes, two seconds left to play. Players back out onto the court then. Newcastle going fly goalkeeper. El Paz took control of the situation. Withers, Angel. Still Angel. Albiol. And the pressure from Santiago. And El Paz comes and picks it up. Scott. Santiago and... Well, Newcastle score. Two minutes 50 to go. Take six. Birmingham lost the ball and simple as you like from there. Again, though, another defensive error. Eight six now. Birmingham have really got to cut these out. Santiago. Scott and the Mets empty, remember. Crunching challenge goes in and inches away from Angel. Finding the net. You did it. Malpass, the net's free. Malpass! Malpass scores! Absolutely inch perfect. In a Malpass. Right into the middle of the net. And the Birmingham shot stopper on the score sheet. To settle the nerves for the last minute. Gun. Withers, the next empty again. And, well, Santiago's back there, but out. Angel tucks it home. Angel completes his hat trick. Mickey Angel. Managed to sneak it past Santiago on the line. And Birmingham into double figures. It's 10 6. 10 seconds left. You did it. Final seconds tick down on the clock. Good day for Birmingham. Alvaro with us. One second. Full time then here in Birmingham and deserve three points for the hosts. It's 10 6. Kevin, how do you feel after making your Birmingham debut here? Yes, I'm happy. Uh, the first match uh, is good. Uh, I have a good team. Let's go. And you got a goal as well. You must be delighted. Um, it's just for, for a moment I, I mark uh, one goal. Uh, if a match, uh, then. Uh, <laughs> this is today's results, and this is what it does to the table. telling you about my story. For me, football really began at a local youth level, at the age of nine, just a normal kid, starting off, playing football, didn't know anything about futsal, and yeah, playing for my local Sunday league club, as most people do. I was also introduced to futsal at around the age of 16, 17, 18, where it was basically just through friends of friends, and these guys who were coaching me were Spanish, Portuguese, Brazilians, so they had the, the best kind of knowledge for the game. And that was all with a scud futsal, actually, who play in the Super League in England. I realised that the English game of football is now so competitive to try and break into that adult game. So then I actually decided to go to Loughborough University with the International Futsal Academy, IFA, specifically for futsal. So to begin with, in my first year at Loughborough, my mindset was literally futsal, futsal, futsal. Throughout the three years, I gradually moved up the ranks from our Loughborough Division 2 side to the Super League side in my final year. And also in my final year, we 
were Bucks University national champions, which was a great thing as well. Also to score two goals. We're here now today. I'm vlogging, so I've just started YouTube. I feel like it's the right thing for me to do. I really just want to document this journey. As I've said in my first video, Thank you.